Welcome to my channel if it's your first visit and welcome back if it's not. This is going to be another new in video and today I'm focusing on Aldi. I'm going to start with one of these light chalk pots. I went, of course, for milk chocolate and caramel flavour, but they also do them in just milk chocolate. And these were £1.19. Also, apologies that my hair is looking a bit fluffy. It's at that stage when it's almost dry, but not quite. So I haven't been able to do anything with it, but I was hungry and it was a good chance to try one of these because I picked them up this morning. So that's what it looks like. I'm guessing it's the Aldi version of the Muller Light dessert pots. I've had the white chocolate one and I actually quite like it, but it's not something I get regularly. Anything light, diet, etc., I tend to ignore. So it looks very much like the Muller ones do. Come on. There we go. So it's quite thick. I am going to go down so I can get some of both layers. With these, I tend to mix them up. Can't even see the caramel. It's been absorbed by the chocolate, but trust me, it's there. It's actually really good. It does have a stronger chocolate taste than caramel, but the caramel does come through. It's not super sweet. The texture is nice. It's smooth, but not too blancmange-like. I don't mind blancmange, but I know a lot of people are really put off by that kind of texture. I don't think I would buy them again just because it's not the kind of product I would buy on the regular. So I'm going to... Enjoy the rest of this off camera. This spinach and ricotta ravioli ready meal is £3.29. It says it serves one, which is great because when I actually saw the size of it, I thought that's going to be a two person meal, but it's not. It's for one. Handy because I am one person. Total of six minutes preparation time. Fast and easy. So I'll see you in six minutes. This is it straight out of the microwave. Now, they did have a second option, which I believe is a spaghetti carbonara, which I do like, but the sound of this just appealed more. Okay, it doesn't look anything like as appealing <laughs> once I've started to stir it up. The sauce is nice. It tastes thick. It tastes creamy. There's definitely the spinach and cheese flavours. Mm. Now, it looks to me very much like the ravioli has burst because I'm sure all that green should be on the inside. So I've got a bit of pasta with a bit of the sauce. It's very, very nice. The pasta is soft, but not too soft. I really should have got a knife. I don't think it's something I would buy regularly, but as an occasional quick dinner, I'd certainly consider it. And I would like to try the carbonara one. For dessert, I'm going to have one of these Raspberry Ripple Summer Sundays, 99p for two. So that is what we have in the pot. And it just says vanilla flavour mousse with raspberry sauce. It's quite sweet. The raspberry flavour is very, very subtle. The sweet cream flavour is much stronger, but it's very light. And after the pasta, which I will say 
is quite heavy and filling. It is a very nice dessert. Again, not something I think I would buy regularly, but if you're looking for a light summer dessert, 99p for two, I mean, it's hard to go wrong. Right, I've got a plate and it's time to get into some Aldi snacks. So I'm going to start off with one of these toffee and caramel muffins. £1.49 for the pair. They are, I would say, about the same size as the muffins you would buy from the M&S Bakery or that you would get in two packs from other supermarkets. It's got weight to it and it's got a lovely caramel smell. It's very M-O-I-S-T. It's got a good muffin texture. It's quite dense. I'm disappointed it's not filled, but it does have a caramel flavoring to the sponge. And then you've got the pieces in it and of course the sauce as well. I really like these. And for £1.49, I would buy them again, particularly because they do come in a pack of two, which is much better than a four pack when you're single or when you live alone. So yeah, I rate this. The other new cake product is a mini carrot cake loaf cake. And there are no nuts, which is good because not everyone, including myself, is a fan of walnuts in their carrot cake or on the top. And a lot of the times when you buy it, they do have nuts. So it certainly looks a decent enough size in the pack. I'll be honest, I don't like the way they've done the icing in the blobs. I think it looks less appealing than if it was a smooth icing. But that is me being really nitpicky because it's really all about the flavour. Well, the ratio of frosting to cake is pretty much half and half. The cake itself feels very M-O-I-S-T again. Let's just say damp. I've used that word before and uh, yeah, I mean, you can see the bits of carrot. Good texture. The icing is very, very sweet, but very, very light. It doesn't taste like the cream cheese icing that you normally have on a carrot cake. It does say it's vanilla frosting. I don't think I'd get these again because the icing is super sweet, but it is nice. I didn't tell you the price, did I? £2.49 for the four. I would probably pay a bit extra to get, say, ones from a more pricey, supermarket that's attached to a clothing store, but it's still not a bad carrot cake. Coming in at £1.35, we have these Jive cookies, which looks very much like a dupe of a well-known chocolate bar brand of cookie. And they also do Titan. I think that's the Mars bar equivalent. I went for Jive because I'm, less of a fan of a chocolate cookie. So that is what one looks like. Love that caramel pull. I've had the Twix cookies and this is nicer. The cookie itself is crunchy the caramel is sweet. Now I would probably warm these up to eat them. And I think that would make them taste sensational, but yeah, delicious. Protein yogurts and puddings just seem to be everywhere at the moment and Aldi is no exception. I have got this high protein vanilla mousse, which was 
£1.35 and shout out to Katie because we discussed this in one of my Friday night hangout live streams and this is the flavour she recommended I should get. They also do a chocolate one and a strawberry and a lemon. To be honest, for me it would have been between vanilla and strawberry and I probably would have gone with vanilla. So that is what it looks like. I mean, it's a big enough pot for your money. And it's got a lovely moussey texture. It's got a good vanilla flavour. The texture is a bit grainy and I think that's because it's a protein mousse. That was just so you could hear it, the noise that it makes as it comes out. I do like it, but would I get it again? I might. I wouldn't rule it out completely. I mean, it describes it as fluffy, which it is, rich, which it is, smooth, which it is not, and delicious. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's nice. It's not unpalatable. I guess if a protein mousse is the kind of product you're looking for, this could be a good option. Moseroth Organic Blonde Chocolate, £1.75. It's a very dark blonde. It's actually really good. It's not as sweet as, say, caramel milk, but it's got a rich, creamy flavour to it. I think I would struggle to eat more than about four squares in one go because it is so rich, but that's a really good chocolate. So the, it's £1.85 for these hand-finished cookie dough slices, four in a pack. It's a biscuit cake with Belgian chocolate, a cookie dough there, topped with Belgian dark chocolate chips. You can see in there how thick they are. Mm, that is so good. The biscuit has the texture of a firm cheesecake base. The cookie dough is sweet, but not too sweet and soft. And then you've got the dark chocolate which just adds a rich chocolate kick to it. Really, really like these. We'll definitely be getting them again. Mm. And then this is one of their Turbo Chock Sticks, £1.99 for three. Now, this is caramel and biscuit flavour. I went for it over the honeycomb flavour because the honeycomb flavour contained popcorn, which I'm not mad about, but there's also, I think, a chocolate orange flavour. You can taste the sweet caramel coming through. Even though it's chocolate ice cream, which I'm not a major fan of, I do really like this. The biscuit pieces, and there are plenty of them, give a lovely crunchy texture to it. I really like this, but probably wouldn't get it again because there are other ice creams I like better. But certainly, you know, a nice little treat. So that rounds off my New In at Aldi video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you've had any of these products or which ones you think you would like to try in the comments below. And I hope to see you back here for the next video. But until then, take care and thank you for watching. Bye.